In our current example, our project manager has been notified by Prolog that a new RFI has been created. By opening the RFI, our PM can review the information. Now, since our PM has more access than our contractor has, he can fill in some of the necessary fields, such as marking the document official, filling in a category from the list of available categories, and also filling out the intended answering company field. To do this, we need to initiate a potential change order, or PCO. From the RFI screen, we can click on the links button and initiate a PCO. A pop-up message will appear, and after we click OK, it will save and submit the RFI, and the new PCO will be created. Now, because the PCO was created from the RFI, some of the PCO fields are automatically filled in. Other fields can be populated as well, such as the status, category, and reason fields. By clicking on the Save button, it saves the new PCO, and at any point you can come back and edit this PCO when more information becomes available. Once saved, the Links tab is also populated with a cross-reference to the RFI. By clicking on this Links tab, we can see the RFI and quickly navigate back to the RFI by clicking on the RFI number. Once the RFI form appears, other tabs can be reviewed and other fields populated as needed.